What's going on guys, this is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another video. There's a ton of different champions and paladins, and with the introduction of new easy champions like Dredge, it's not hard to find someone to do well with. However, mastering a difficult champion can be extremely rewarding. So in this video, I'm going over my picks for the top 5 most difficult champions and paladins. I'll be going over at least one champion from each class, so the most difficult champion from every single class will be on this list. So without further ado, let's get into the top 5 most difficult champions and paladins. Number 5, Shaolin. Shaolin is a pretty straightforward champion, with his abilities based around shooting things with his bow and going invisible to escape from dangerous situations. However, what gets him onto this list is that his bow is one of the most unforgiving weapons in the entire game. By default, his bow fires a fully charged shot every one and a half seconds, which means that if you're getting flanked and you miss a shot, the enemy flanker has a three second window of opportunity to attack you where you haven't dealt any damage to them. Shaolin's shots hit like a truck, but you have to be extremely precise to use them effectively. Also, Shaolin shoots projectiles that can be difficult to peg on somebody at long range, so playing him sometimes requires you to predict where the enemy will be when your arrow reaches them. Shaolin does have a few strong combos such as impaling someone onto a wall and annihilating them with planted, but these do require some practice to pull off in the split second that someone tries to attack you at close range, and it doesn't always work if they're not standing next to a wall. He does have the option to retreat into stealth if someone attacks him at an inopportune moment, but all a flanker has to do is pick up a little bit of illuminate and the effects of Shao's stealth both in his movement ability and his ultimate are completely negated. A great Shaolin can be an absolute nightmare to go against and mastering him is extremely rewarding, but he is one of the most difficult champions to master and takes a lot of practice to become good with. Number 4, Terminus. Terminus is considered by most to be the most difficult tank to play, and for good reason. Terminus is the only champion whose weapon is strictly melee. His only form of attacking someone at range is through his Calamity Blast that only deal 250 damage every 2 seconds. This makes it very difficult to be a threat with Terminus, since to deal damage you have to focus on closing the distance with your target more than any other champion. This isn't exactly an easy task either, as his one movement ability has a lengthy 15 second cooldown and it doesn't even go that far. This makes Terminus a lot less flexible than any other tank, as he's mostly restricted to attacking the enemy tank and very rarely gets to go toe to toe with damage champions and supports that can shoot him from afar. Terminus is basically useless against snipers, and in general he is a very situational tank that is most effective against teams that don't have a whole lot of long range champions. Terminus' strongest ability is his Power Siphon, which blocks an infinite amount of damage as long as he has enough resources to keep it up, and it gives him Calamity Blast charges every time a certain damage threshold is reached. However, managing when to have this Power Siphon up and not wasting the precious resources needed to have it available takes a lot of practice to master, and it isn't nearly as simple to use as other shields like Khan's. Terminus is also plagued with some of the worst bugs of any champion, having one of the glitchiest movement abilities in Paladins. If you can endure the bugs and master his Power Siphon though, he can be one of the most fun and unique tanks to play in the realm. Number 3, Bomb King. The second damage champion on this list is quite possibly the scariest champion to go against if someone's completely mastered him. A great Bomb King can demolish anyone in only a second or two and evaporate tanks in an instant, but the journey towards becoming this strong takes a ton of practice and determination. Bomb King's bombs are projectiles that move at a rather moderate pace, so attacking them onto people requires a bit of predictive action even at medium range. Also, if you're not using chain reaction and don't want to stick multiple bombs on someone at a time, which is a difficult task itself, Bomb King requires good distance judgment to determine when to blow a bomb up on someone if you don't get a direct hit. His weapon, although having a decent area of effect, is still one of the most difficult weapons in the entire realm to use. His Poppy Bomb is an equally challenging movement ability to use. Instead of just pressing a button and moving forward, backward, or upward like almost every other champion in the game, Bomb King's Poppy Bomb first requires you to throw it in the opposite direction that you want to go, and then pressing F again to send you blasting off into the direction you want. Bomb King's movement ability is extremely difficult to use, and it doesn't work all the time, since another blast champion like Pip or Willow can blow it up, or a stray bullet from Victor could hit it, and suddenly, you're not escaping anymore. As with Shaolin, there are several techniques and combos that you can use to become a much stronger Bomb King, such as using your Poppy Bomb in conjunction with your ultimate to catapult yourself into a group of enemies and blow them to smithereens. However, these combos do take lots of practice, and Bomb King generally requires a ton of effort to master, which is why he takes the number 3 spot on this list. Number 2, Maldamba. Maldamba is one of the best healers in the game, being able to heal multiple teammates at a time and provide a whole lot for his team. However, Maldamba is also one of the hardest supports to play. His weapon has one of the slowest moving projectiles out of all the champions, making it difficult to use even at medium range. They also have a heavy arc to them, so Maldamba takes good distance judgment to use his weapon effectively at longer ranges. 
This makes dealing damage with Maldamba very difficult, unless the enemy is only a few feet away. Maldamba's Mending Spirits is also among the more difficult heals to land in Paladins for the simple fact that it's not an AoE or aim assisted heal. Healers like Genos or Grover have a much easier time landing heals on someone darting around or flying than Maldamba, which makes healing with Damba a lot more difficult than most other healers. While he does have a gourd for easy AoE heals on multiple tanks, it's difficult to accurately throw it at longer ranges since it has an even heavier arc than his weapon. Damba's movement ability is also quite restrictive when it comes to escaping a situation or dodging heavy damage. For simply evading lethal damage like a King Bomb, it requires precise timing, since using the movement ability too early or too late will kill you if you're not careful. Secondly, his dash is very short and can only move in one direction, while other stronger movement abilities like Grover's or Pips either travel farther or have a lot more maneuverability and vertical movement. Maldamba is undoubtedly one of the best support champions to master, but he is also the most difficult support to play in the realm. Number 1. Eevee Eevee is the most mobile flank in Paladins and is one of the strongest flanks to play. She has the ability to dart in and out of combat and chase down her target for miles, but she also takes the most practice out of any flank to use effectively. Eevee has a ton of techniques that make her strong, but also take time and practice to master, such as teleporting on top of someone and raining down shots onto them as you fall, which takes precise adjustments and quick thinking to pull off successfully. Learning how to manage her movement abilities is one of the most crucial ways to master her, and it takes time and practice to get used to. Eevee's weapon is also one of the trickier weapons to use out of the flank class. Instead of some high burst submachine gun or pistol, Eevee has a slow moving blast projectile that travels in a straight line and is pretty difficult to hit at long range without good distance judgment and predictions. However, once you're right next to someone, it's pretty easy to land, but what makes her weapon especially interesting to use are all the flick shots required to use it in conjunction with her movement abilities. While flick shots with Andro aren't entirely mandatory, as you can do fine strictly using your nether step as a way to get around, Eevee players must be able to hit flick shots pretty consistently, since shooting after teleporting sometimes requires a complete 180 degree turn in order to hit the person you're actually trying to target. Using flick shots and teleporting all over the place is a crucial component of Eevee's playstyle, and these take practice and precise aim to reliably pull off. Overall, Eevee is a very solid flank champion that requires a skilled player to play effectively, and is who I consider to be the most difficult champion in Paladins. So anyways, that's the end of this video. Do you guys agree with my lists? Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button to see more content like this from me, and join my Discord using the code in the description to pick up tips and leave suggestions. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.